Having your products listed on Facebook and Instagram is a great idea so you can showcase your products wherever your ideal customer is. A great way to do this is with the Facebook sales channel for Shopify, and this lets you not only connect your Shopify store to Facebook and Instagram, but it also lets you customize how your products are shown there. This means you can carry your branding throughout, highlight certain promotions, and feature your best-selling collections all without them leaving that social media app. Stay tuned, and in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to customize this for your Shopify store. So first off, before you can customize anything, you need to make sure you have the Facebook sales channel set up for your Shopify store. Currently, this sales channel is only available in stores in the United States and Canada, but it should be coming to more regions soon. I'm not going to show you how to set this up and get this connected to your Facebook account in this video though, because we actually already have another YouTube video walking you through all of those steps of the beginning account setup. So if you haven't set up the Facebook sales channel yet, then click the link in the description below or in the info cards above somewhere and watch that video first and then come back to this video for the steps on how to customize your new Facebook store. Okay, great. You're still here. So that means you have it set up and now I'm going to switch over to sharing my computer screen and show you step-by-step -step how to customize your Facebook and Instagram store. So let's get started. Okay, so now that we have our Facebook account connected to our Shopify store, you can see here that it is set up as active and that we have our products that are um, approved already. If they are pending approval or have any issues, you would see that here and you can go in and make those changes. Keep in mind, it is going to take a little bit of time just to sync up all your products and get your products reviewed. So just be patient on that one as well. We can also see here that we have Instagram shopping that we can go in and continue setting up as well as the option to do paid ads on Facebook as well. But let's go ahead now and let's customize our Facebook shop. So I'm just going to click on this customize shop button. So you can see here, it's taken us to our Facebook commerce manager that you had to get created whenever you were setting up this account. So we have our CEO by night one here and we have zero issues, but let's go ahead and click on edit to go ahead and manage these settings and customize this. So now you can see we have this prompt of our shop builder. So it's telling us all the different options that we have available. So we can go ahead and hit get started. So you can see the different sections that we have here of how this will actually look on our Facebook shop. So first we have this dynamic product image that is just being dynamically selected based on the user and what they're most likely to be interested in. Then we have a more from this shop area. So we can add a couple other features in and we can click on this add new next to featured. And you can see here that we can add in the option of a collection, a product or a grid. So let's go ahead and add in a collection first. So this will show all of the collections that have been synced to show up on your Facebook shop. However, it looks like ours are still syncing a little bit, but we do have this option for create a new collection. So if we click on this, we can hit confirm. And now it's showing all of our products that have been approved and are up now. So we could actually go in and create our own collection of products. So we could go in and just select a couple things that are similar. So we can collect, let's just select a couple mugs, for example. Okay. And let's do one more. Or let's do a, another kind of drinkware overall collection. So we'll add a few. Okay, so we will just call this drinkware. And we're typing in that collection name here. And then we're going to hit confirm. Okay, so now it's showing it up here. So we have the option now to go back in and we can edit this collection if we want. So we can edit the products, the description and the images. We can also see that it's just pulling in this default image. So we could go in and we can change that to whatever image we want. 
So I can go in and actually select a custom image. So let me go in and just upload an image real quick. So I'm just going to click upload image and then select it from my computer. Okay, so I've uploaded this image and then I can come in and I could choose to crop it or move around how the image is placed, but I think that looks good for now. And we'll just hit save. So you can now see that is edited here and we have our one item drinkware and then view collection. So you could add in a subtitle if you want, but I'm going to just leave that for now. We can also change how we have this position. So we could choose to have it show up in the center of the image if we want to do that. However, I think based on this and how the image is styled, it looks best on the left. So we can really clearly see that mug. So we'll go ahead and just keep that there. Now let's go in and let's delete this dynamic product right here. And I'm just going to delete this for now. And I'm going to have a one more collection that I have show up on this home page. So I'm going to click that delete. And then I'm going to click on the add new and add in a collection again. So we'll hit collection. And I can hit create new collection. And this time I'm going to add in some shirts. So we'll come from the list here and I'm just going to click a couple of the shirt options that I have. Okay. And I'm going to name this one apparel. Okay. And I'm going to hit confirm. So now we have our apparel collection. So I'm going to, again, just go in and upload an image. So I'll hit upload image and I'm going to choose a different image here and click open. So it doesn't look like this image is going to work as well as I thought it was going to. I thought hopefully because it was landscape that it was going to work, but just because of how it's stylized, it, it really won't work for us. So I'm going to hit cancel out of this and I'm going to choose another image and click open. Okay. So now we have our product again being featured of the t-shirt and we're going to hit save. Okay. So we have our two different collections added in here. And then next you can see we have this more from this shop. So this is a grid that's being added in that's showing all of the products. So we can choose to have all products from this collection or products added to this shop. So that's going to be specifically if you are not adding all of the products in to show on Facebook and just select products. So we'll just go ahead and keep that how it is for now. Let's look at the other options real quick. So we can click add new and now we can add in an individual product. If we click on product here from the list, we can choose to either manually select a product from our store or to dynamically select it, which is what it, the default was at first. So that's going to be tailored to each customer. So I'm going to choose the manual right now and hit confirm. And again, now we are seeing all of the different products that have been synced with Facebook so far, and we can just choose one from the list. So the benefit of doing this is that we can, you know, if you're running a sale on a specific product or you're really wanting to um, feature something specifically, you can select that from the list. So I'm going to just choose this journal and hit confirm. And again, you can choose a specific image or add a description in. And we can again choose where you want the button to show up. So we can see here now we have our drinkware, our apparel, and then our featured product as well as our shop. So we can go in and actually move things around. So you can see here the buttons on the side. We can drag it and drop it in the order that we want it to show up. So that's just going to be really based on how you want to highlight different products. So you have a couple different options there of how things are stylized in terms of the layout, but let's look at some of the actual style options. So let's click on the style here at the top. And now let's click on colors. So we can now choose the specific colors that are showing up in our shop. So our buttons, if we click on this arrow down, we can choose from any of the colors here. We can use the color picker or you can actually go in and type in your hex code if you know that as well. On this shop, we use black as our primary color option. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that from the list and I'm going to do the same with the links. Okay. We can then go in and choose the text option. So next I'll just click on text. 
We can choose how big we want the text to be. So let's see what the large looks like. Okay, so that is significantly larger, but that may be good if they're looking at it from a mobile device. Let's go ahead and take it back to normal though, and we'll just keep the alignment on the left. And the last option is our buttons. So we can choose here if we want to have it a solid uh, kind of curved style or a straight uh, rectangle kind of style. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the curved edges. You could also choose to do it as an outline style. So let's see how that looks as well. Actually, I think I like that a little bit more. So let, I'm going to go ahead and keep it just like that. So now we've got this customized and you can go in and add in as many different of the layout options as you're wanting to add to really feature your best collections or products that you want to show the most. Once you've got everything done and built out, you can then hit save and you can also publish your updates as well, which you can see here. So that's how you go in and you can customize your Facebook shop so that whenever they are browsing on their phone, they are able to really quickly see all of your different collections as you want it to show up. And you'll follow these exact steps as well for customizing your Instagram. So you can have your Instagram shop show up very differently from your Facebook shop and so on. It's really up to you and how you want to display your products. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you were able to follow along with me step-by-step step to customize it for your own Facebook and Instagram store. If you like this video, then make sure to hit that like button below and subscribe so you never miss out on a future Shopify tutorial video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.